Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Tammy Talks here. So let's go ahead and get into Married at First Sight, Season 14, Episode 4, Bliss, Brunches, and Brawls. Oh my. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk Stephen Noy. If you haven't already, check out the other videos that I did. <clears throat> Excuse me, the other videos I did tonight for the other four couples. If you haven't already, um, like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. Y'all been here before. So it starts off with Steve and Noy. Picks up right where it was on um, wedding night. So they're in the hotel. Steve gets down on one knee and proposes with that same ring pop. And it's cute and fun and all that type of stuff. So Noy is nervous about Steve seeing her without her makeup on. And I don't know why some of these women are so nervous about that. I mean, he's going to see you eventually without your makeup. So, I mean, she looks pretty pretty much the same like or they're always nervous for people to see them in their glasses so they get in bed and they do some little light talking and then you know that's the end of their night so the next morning Steve gets up and he goes and gets them some breakfast and well from the door and they talk about whether or not it was awkward with them last night being in bed together um they said it, it it wasn't for either one of them she was happy that it that they got to cuddle and it felt very natural for them Steve in the confessional was like we cuddled and that was it so I don't know if Steve was expecting sex but he definitely didn't get it so Noi talks about her dog his name is Sushi and she said that Sushi sleep, um, typically sleeps with her so the spot next to her they're gonna have to duke it out between Sushi and Steve who's gonna get it and it's cute so they go to meet the parents and the family members. So Noi meets with Steve's parents and her, his father really liked the fact that Noi put on her traditional garb. He loved that, you know, he's um, of Asian descent. So he, he liked that. He thought it showed a lot of personality, a lot of culture, that type of stuff. So they mentioned that Steve is very open and his mother says that Steve is very open, so if you have any questions or you want to know anything, you just have to ask him and he'll tell you. They then bring up how Noy is going to deal with considering that Steve is in between jobs. So her, his father describes him as a vagabond. So I googled it because I wanted to make sure to give y'all the precise and exact definition. A vagabond is a person who wanders from place to place without a home or a job. It's a noun, okay? The adjective version of it is having no settled home. A vagabond poacher <laughs> is what they use as an example. The verb form of it is wander about as or like a vagabond. He went vagabonding about the world. Noi is concerned about that. Even though she is not saying it, you can see it's written all over Noi's face. She is concerned. She is concerned. She is concerned about the fact that her husband is unemployed. Whether she wants to admit it on camera or not, that woman is concerned about that. So, um... Noi says she is a little concerned, but she thinks that he has a plan. But I'm like, girl, you can't think he has one. You need to know. And Steve does not have a plan because Steve has not stated a plan of any sort to anybody. So Steve meets up with Noi's family. So Noi's brother has an alter ego that is called Sriracha. I said, so y'all just sit at home and dress up and role play and stuff with y'all alter egos. I'm with it all for it sriracha was not for the shit i tell y'all that so last night noise brother came with all the questions that you know needed to be asked um don't check or really the direction don't don't think my sister's gonna chase you you need to be chasing her because if you don't somebody else will that's what her brother was on today sriracha didn't need the production crew or um anybody from married at first sight to give them some prompting questions he knew what he wanted to know so sriracha asked why was he traveling did you find yourself while you were traveling is that why you were out here traveling um and then as if he is considering more stable work i think that's a valid question steve seems to be a little irritated when people ask him about that that's a valid question though right like that's something that that's something that um, 
we need to know. So Steve said that he thinks doing freelance work is better for him. And he tried to play it off as the freelance work is going to be better because they're embarking into this new territory together. Th that's all the more reason for you to have your ass at work, Steve. I'm sorry, but the way that Steve is trying to act like it's okay that he doesn't work, but yet still signed up for this process is starting to get on my nerves. It really is. So they start talking about kids. Steve doesn't want to rush kids. So Rasha said, oh yeah, what are your plans to take care of future kids with no job? How do you plan to be financially stable for them? So then Noy's mother said, if you want a baby, you got to have a job first. <laughs> they said, play in somebody else's face, Steve. Play in somebody else's face. Um, I don't know what's going on with Steve. Why? Um, here's the thing. And like I've said before, if if Steve wants to be, if he wants to do freelance work and that's how he wants to live more independently for himself, that's great. But I feel like, I feel like that's something that now needs to be discussed with your wife. It can't just be Oh, I'm just going to freelance when I can. And on top of that, you need to be making some bank from it. I'm not talking, you know, the ability to pay a bill to uh, a bill or two here or there. You need that. It needs to sustain what having a typical job for you would, would pay. So they meet up together and Noy asks, so what is your plan for work? Because if his family is questioning that, then I think that's lighting a fire under Noy that maybe I need to, you know, question this a little bit more myself as well. So, <sighs> Sirach, I'm sorry. So um, Steve said that they have a lot to discuss because that's all he ever says. We have a lot to discuss. And he said it'll include discussing if he will commit to a full-time job. So basically, Steve probably wants to work for himself. And if Steve wants to do that, again, that's perfectly fine. But you're not by yourself now. You know what I mean? You, you, you're, you're married. So that's something that the two of y'all have to agree on how this is going to work. But the fact that you went from saying that you can get a job when you want to, to now you don't know if you want to work. So what are you going to be doing all day while she's at work? Girl, Noy, don't get blinded by his, his attractiveness. So they're at the hotel. They're hanging out um, on the balcony and Noy is scared to look down. Um, but she says she's developing really strong feelings already. And I'm like, it has been less than 48 hours. You absolutely are not developing strong feelings for him already. You're not. I refuse to believe that, Noy. I'm not going to let you play in my face with it or Steve's because you're not. Um, I find it funny, though, when Noy kind of asked, so what do you want to do? Steve was like, we can go, you know, parasailing, we can go bungee jumping, we can go hiking. He's, you know, jet skiing. He's listing all these like super adventurous type of things. And Noy was just like, <laughs> so I don't know if Noy is not that adventurous, but this, I, I like, I know people were saying that the job is not going to be a big deal for them. Steve's lack of commitment to a job is going to be a pain point. It's going to be because Noy, the way that Steve presented it to Noy at the reception was that he was in between jobs and he's like currently looking for a job right now to get back into the workforce after taking time off um, due to the pandemic. When you have your mother and when you have your father saying you're a vagabond and that you basically don't want to commit, you don't have a house you out here just, you know, doing whatever, that's going to be an issue. I'm really curious to see, really, really curious to see if Steve is going to have a house to show her when they get home before they move into the apartment together. I am because I don't think Steve has a place. I think Steve is probably like crashing at his parents' house or crashing at his siblings' houses. But that, that, that job and you not wanting to commit to a job, that, that's going to be, that's going to be an issue. And that's all the more reason why Steve should not have signed up for Married at First Sight because Noy got blindsided with that.
and that's not fair. But check out the other four videos from tonight and let me know how you guys feel about Steve and Noi. Are you guys okay with the fact that he just wants to kind of peruse and freelance here and there when he needs to make some money? I know some of you are like, oh, it's fine. He's living off his savings. He can't live off his savings forever. He can't live off his savings forever. Catch y'all in the next one.